everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all super well today as you can tell from the thumbnail and title of this video i'm dyeing my hair oh. i'm excited but super nervous because i am not going to be using a blue hair dye uh what what you are probably thinking uh sophie hannah is not dyeing her hair blue i uh, yeah um the blue hair thing i love it it's so me and I've done it for years, but it's pissing me off now. Excuse my language. I'm just getting fed up with it because it stains. This is not coming out. Now, I know blue hair stains, like I'm used to that, but I'm getting to the point now where it's kind of like, it's just not fading enough anymore. It was amazing being blue for my wedding because it's so me and that's kind of how I see myself, but I feel like I wanna just mix things up a bit more. I wanna dye my hair more often and I just can't do that when it's stained blue. So as you can see, I recently got my roots done. Now I got them done two weeks ago. I've got a little bit of growth coming back through. And yeah, I kind of got my roots done and thought that we could get rid of some of this blue and we couldn't. So I have been doing vitamin C and shampoo washes to try and get some of the colour out. It's slowly working, but it's not working that well. If you watch my weekly vlogs, you would have seen I've done it a few times and kind of seen my hair fade ever so slightly over the last two weeks. But yeah, anyway. I've decided to change things up. I'm also mixing things up because I'm using a brand I've never ever dyed my hair before. I've used the hair dye on a wig, but never my own hair. I'm gonna be using the Bleach London Odd Fuchsia for this video. I'm gonna be dyeing the back part of my hair in this color. I'm kind of hoping with the addition of the blue and going over the top of it, it's gonna kind of come out a little bit more purpley. So fingers crossed. And then I'm gonna be dyeing the two front sections of my hair here and here mixing the crazy color toxic uv and the manic panic electric lizard so i've never used this one before but i want to mix some of this in because i want to get that like neon uv color kind of into the mix so yeah i'm going to do the two streaks at the front in that hopefully it looks good hopefully it works who knows because obviously my roots are very very bleached and the rest is blue this could be a fail i'm putting it out there right now so yeah I'm just gonna play around and we shall see. So here it goes. I really, really hope you enjoy watching me attempt to dye my hair pinky, purple, and green. Oh, 
I've got no idea what this is going to look like when I wash it out. Uh, yeah, it's probably not going to look great if I'm honest. I feel like maybe that Bleach London Fuchsia colour should have been a bit more pigmented. They are known to be sort of more pastel-y I've seen on other people. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe if I use like a darker, more vibrant purple or pink, then it probably would have covered it more evenly. We shall see what it looks like when I wash it out though. So I'm going to leave it on for about an hour and then, yeah, I'll come back. And fingers crossed it looks okay. surprise I honestly thought this was gonna look horrendous when the dye was on but oh I like it oh my god what do we think now I could have just left out these lime streaks out the front and just dyed my hair in that odd fuchsia color from bleach London and then it would have just all over kind of been like pink roots into this purple but I like these lime streaks. I just feel like it's super quirky and I'm literally in love with the neon trend. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I honestly didn't think I'd like it. It's so freaking cool. Imagine when it's all curled as well. Like obviously the ends of my hair were blue underneath so it's gone more of a purple but it kind of really works with this pink root because it kind of just blends in really nicely like I didn't have to like I didn't ombre it or anything but it's created like a natural sort of ombre from the bleach roots into the blue it works really well I was kind of a bit worried because obviously I've got the ombre here and then just a block color here but it, it just works like oh my god I love it it's so different I've not seen anything like it wow what do we think guys? I feel like this was actually successful and not a fail. I honestly thought this was going to be like a hair dye fail video. Love it. Oh my god I love it. It's so cool. And it matches the nails. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm so impressed with this hair dye. I honestly didn't think the Bleach London was that pigmented but it obviously is. Interesting. I might have to give another few of their colours a bit of a go. Hmm. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll pop links below to the products I use in this video. Please leave comments. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I would love to have you here. Hopefully now I'm going to be able to change my hair up a bit more because it's not blue. Well, it's blue underneath but hopefully when this fades it will fade with the blue but We'll see, I will keep you updated. Watch my weekly vlogs, you'll see my hair fade gradually every day. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video here very, very soon. Peace out. <laughs>